Hey, Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor to the Most High Power, Yahweh, in the name of His beloved Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule exceptionally well. Also, Shalom, salutations, mercy, and blessings to all you sincere brothers out there pushing this word with truth and with faith. My name is Thabawa Amoth of Great Millstone Northwest, and I kind of want to go through this. Um, I ran, I was reading over this article um, this morning at work, so I want to kind of share it with you brothers, man. And here's the title of it. This is off of RT, uh, by the way. Though I got the RT News app, uh, but you could also find it on RT.com if you're interested in looking into this article. Because um, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to uh, kind of just touch up on it a little bit. It says, nuclear nightmare worse than Fukushima could hit U.S. because of ignored risk, says a study. All right. So pretty much it's talking about how um, America doesn't. They don't uphold uh, uh, their own safety standards for the nuclear uh, for their nuclear facilities, man. And they're saying that if if something was to go wrong, like how it went wrong in Fukushima for Japan, that it would be it, it would it would be a fucking disaster, man. De depending on the spot where they uh, got these nuclear plants, man. Now, recently there was a nuclear incident uh, here in Washington State. All right, I, I believe it was within within the month. Okay, within uh, less than a month ago, I believe is when it happened. Or if it was a month ago, it was like it was only just that, just a month ago. That it was really recent, um, uh, where they had a uh, uh, a tunnel uh, to it for their nuclear site uh, collapse. You know, and the brothers around uh, this area, uh, we constantly bring it out. Uh, especially the brother that comes to mind who I can think of always saying this is uh, the brother Yura, our camp leader, um, about how they don't store the, the nuclear waste properly, man. All they do is put them in buckets and those buckets over time will start to leak. And then once it starts to leak, they just put that bucket into another bucket, you know, and just continue that cycle because they don't have a, a safe way to get rid of this this nuclear waste that they are constantly making, uh, playing around with the... Uh, uh, you know, nuclear technology or whatever. Now, uh, hey, the scriptures say destroy them which destroy the earth because that new all all the nuclear uh, technology, everything they do with, with nuclear power all the way through uh, nuclear missiles, you know, all of it is it all it does is destroy, man. You know, nuclear power doesn't generate as much power. Uh, you know, what I'm saying we can get by without nuclear power. The earth can survive without nuclear uh power to 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 be a power source man you know it's just uh this this damn edomite man or this devil all right uh, let me call him correctly the so-called white man which according to the scriptures is esau which esau is the devil all right the deceiver the adversary man satan all right the wicked they they are hell bent on just flat out destroying things man that it's just it's in their nature they can't help it uh, but to destroy stuff or, or to, to, to corrupt something or to, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to make something wicked like them. That's, that's all they do. Everything they touch is, is, uh, is death, man. Everything, all they bring about is, is death, man. All right. Cause that's, that's what their, that's what their role is. But let's get into this article a little bit and then, um. And then uh, we'll see how it goes. It's just, I'm just doing this off the, uh, in, in the spirit, man. It says uh, the U.S. has underestimated the risk to its nuclear safety as a single nuclear fuel fire could lead to fallout much greater than Fukushima, according to a new study. Researchers, researchers, researches, huh, that's weird. Researchers slammed the Nuclear Regulatory Commission for ignoring the potential danger. OK, so the U.S. pretty much they don't care. The, the people that's put in charge to regulate the safety of these nuclear facilities pretty much don't care, man. All right. There's there's there uh, the scientists or whatever is saying that there's a danger that that this could all go bad, but they don't care. It says if spent fuel at one of the dozens of U.S. nuclear sites set alight, it could dwarf the horrific consequences of the Fukushima accident, which was in Japan. Uh, researchers from Princeton University and the Union of Concerned Scientists warned in their study published in the May 26 issue of Science Magazine. And if I haven't mentioned it, today's date is May 26, um, 2017. All right. It says, um, 
So this article, this magazine, whatever it was, it just came out. It says uh, the disaster will lead to trillion dollar consequences as the hypothetical fire would result in contamination of an area larger than New Jersey and forces and force mass relocations. All right. Um, let me hop down a little bit. I want to show this map there, there's, in this map. What they're saying is if um, uh, if something broke out at this power plant right here, which is uh, uh, it says an aerial view of, of Peach Bottom Atomic Power Station, a nuclear power plant in Delta, Pennsylvania. All right, which and this was provided by Stan Honda. Now, um, they're saying if, if something like a catastrophe like Fukushima happened here, this would be the map. This would be the map that would, uh, uh, would, would show what's going on, man. Map based on data published in Science Magazine. In the red area, or the reddish area, the dark orange reddish air looking area is the worst. And the light yellow looking area is contaminated, but not as bad as the, uh, the red or the orange. All right. It says, uh, at first it will, it will most... It will mostly have affected a small part of Pennsylvania and Philadelphia, also touching on New York, Massachusetts, and Connecticut. However, within three months, almost all the East Coast from South Carolina to Maine would have become contaminated to a varying extent, the scientists said, with radiation going deeper into the land later on. Now, there's more on this article. You guys can read it if you want to. I'm not going to read all of that. Uh, you know, I, I just want to point it out that America, man, this, this damn devil, he had no business putting all these power plants everywhere anyway. But now there's, there's uh, the researchers and the studies are coming out showing that there's it's, it's always going to be potential danger as long as this man keeps playing around with this, uh, this nuclear power, which he's going to continue to do that until he gets destroyed by the own the very the very power that that he wants to claim that he created, man, you know. Because it's prophesied in the scripture that America, the entire United States of America, will be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction, man. That's what's prophesied in the scriptures. All right. All these things, all these things shall be consumed away in fire. You know, when these nuclear power plants is going to help with that, too, because what's going to happen is, you know, missiles going to strike somewhere around this motherfucker and that thing or around one of these plants. And that's just going to blow up, too. So hey, it's a lot of death and destruction coming on the way for those for those people that enjoy death and destruction, man. For those people that continue want to destroy the earth, as I quoted earlier, destroy them, which destroy the earth, man. You know. So hey, hey, Lord willing, uh, you know, there's some edification to come out of this. Uh, you brothers, feel free to look into this article. Um, again, I want to say all praise, glory, and honor to the Most High Power, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshua, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom, salutations, mercy, and blessings to all you sincere brothers out there pushing this word with truth and with faith. You know, until next time, Shalom, Akim.